Perfect. Hello, everyone. It's truly grateful to be able to speak in front of all of you today, especially because so many of you have worked selflessly and passionately over many years to create the opportunities that I've been lucky enough to take advantage of. And I think that many of you who have been involved in the sister cities for a long time can share my pleasure that in many ways, as the world becomes more connected with technology and the internet, some of our goals for person-to-person -person connection actually become much easier to achieve. Personally, in my life, online connection has been important to me for pretty much my entire life. When I was in second grade, my family moved to Barcelona, Spain. And during this time, I, I was very grateful now to have had that experience, but living there, not speaking the language, was very difficult for me. I felt like an outsider, and a lot of the positive aspects of living in Barcelona were overshadowed by feelings of loneliness. At the same time, during my experience in Barcelona, I was able to call friends back home with video calls and even play online games with friends who I known all my life, and that was how I stayed connected with the people I knew. And more than that, I even I met new people online, and I kept those friendships for, for years, and I think there's real value that can be made in online friendships. And moving back to San Diego, I, I started realizing that there, there were, in fact, many things that I missed about Barcelona. I missed the public transit, I missed how walkable the city is, how alive it was, and, the long social lunches that people had, even as a kid, I'd wait for them to be over, my parents to be ready to leave. Um, but during this time of being in San Diego and being back to my time in Spain, I wanted to get more involved again in learning languages and international exchange. And that's when I started getting involved in the sister cities. Now, because of my experience with online connection, I assumed that it would be very easy to find spaces online where I could get involved with international exchange. But I found out that it's actually very difficult to find substantial and affordable ways to connect with other people online. But I've seen firsthand that the sister cities can fill this gap. During the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I'm sure all of you had the same experience, but we had to stop our exchange programs. And to account for this, we started online exchanges. Uh, we created pen pal systems, online discussion boards, so that we could stay connected. And this was actually the first time that we were able to do online exchanges with students in Japan. And we even started our, our projects like the 360 project, where we create 360 videos, cameras like this one here, that you can watch in VR to have an immersive way to see each other's cities. And we film our, our daily lives so that we can show every aspect of being in San Diego and being a student in the US with our exchange students in Japan. Now, during this time, I had experiences of online singing karaoke, seeing school tours, and really just talking about life with the students in Yokohama. We were even able to have an interview over Zoom with a uh, Hiroshima atomic bomb survivor. And experiences like these are ones that I'll really, truly remember for my entire life and always cherish, even if they were online. Now, because of my uh, experiences uh, as a young person in the Sister City Societies, exchanges have always been of utmost important, but I also, importance, but I also recognize that our business connections are some of the most important facets of the Sister City Societies. Now, I'm hopeful that this incorporation of new technology in the Sister City Societies uh, can be just as powerful in the business sphere as it is in exchanges. We've experimented with our 360 Connect project with booths at events like Envision 23 Art Takeover, where we'll show virtual experiences of other cities, our sister cities in virtual reality. And we've had great success with these, with bringing excitement and engagement to the San Diego Oklahoma Sister City Society. And we hope that with new technology, we can continue to partner with businesses in new ways. For example, uh, soon we plan to create an exhibit in the San Diego Japanese Friendship Garden where we'll share experiences of the Friendship Garden in Yokohama and Yokohama itself to visitors of the garden to keep bringing engagement in new ways to, to our business partners. And we also are working on initiatives to preserve people's heritage and cultures. For example, uh, similarly to like the Maasai tribe in southern Kenya, with 360 videos, if they can take immersive experiences of cultural 
traditions that many of them are, which are fading away. And by taking these videos, they can preserve their culture and heritage for eternity. And while I have great faith that technology is a great asset to both exchanges and business connections and being involved in our communities, it is true that online experiences can never fully uh, replace the importance and value of an in-person exchange. Still, to fulfill the sister city's mission of person-to-person -person connection and global connection, what we need is great reach. With online technology, we can provide exchange experiences and opportunities for connection between people to anyone, no matter what their age or background is. Even though I haven't yet had the chance to visit Yokohama, the experiences I've had in online exchanges have truly shaped me. And I believe that if we can use technology and keep doing what we've done with exchanges, and if everyone else is lucky enough to have experiences like I've had during online exchanges, I think we'll move much closer to fulfilling the Sister City's mission for a globally connected world through person-to-person -person exchange. Thank you.